Welcome to Doctor Who Explained. So all of your geek friends are discussing Doctor Who. It's all over pop culture, and it's parodied all over, and you're completely clueless about this incredible show. Why is it cool? What are you missing? And how can you learn more than all of your friends? Well, with Doctor Who going on for 50 years, it has more lore and concepts than some of your favorite comic books. So it seems like it'll fit right in right here at this channel. After listening to this video, you'll also understand why. The videos planned for this series will not get in the way of our regular releases, so no worries there. We're also going to be covering each Doctor and all of his prominent villains. First up, what and who is Doctor Who? You need to know these key points to understand any further videos. Doctor Who is a BBC TV show that has been on the radio and television since 1963. It stars the Doctor, a Time Lord, which is a time-traveling alien, and explains his adventures across the entire universe and time using his TARDIS, which is stuck looking like a 1960s police box because he broke it on the first episode. That's right, I said that this show has been around since 1963. And because of this, we've had 12 different Doctors. Now the way it works is simple. When the Doctor dies, he has the power to regenerate into a completely new body. He becomes an entirely new person, personality, accent, age, appearance, and everything. But he retains all of his memories, and that is why a Time Lord is so powerful. The Doctor travels the universe in each of his incarnations trying to save everyone and keep everything in the universe safe from itself. But a lot of the action takes place on Earth because, as he stated, he just finds it interesting. And it's cheaper to film on Earth than anywhere else. The Doctor also gets companions to join him on his adventures. Now, from a narrative standpoint, this allows the Doctor to know everything, but the companion asks the questions that we're going to ask so that we can get the answers and not feel stupid. It's a great way to tell the story, but it also gives the Doctor someone to share his journey with. Now, the most famous villain in Doctor Who's history is definitely the Daleks. These are aliens who live in a tank-like mechanical structure and basically use plungers for everything. While silly in appearance, they're easily one of the most recognizable villains in the entire series. And they're a reoccurring villain no matter how many times the Doctor has defeated him. Their most famous line is, EXTERMINATE, in a robotic, raspy voice. They're basically just trying to rule the universe and see the Time Lords as their biggest enemy. So they therefore end up fighting against the Doctor quite often. Now speaking of the Time Lords, this is the race that the Doctor is. They are one of the oldest and most technologically advanced species in the universe. They look like humans and they have two hearts which beat at 170 beats per minute and they can also survive strangulation as they have a bypass system. Now the most interesting ability that they have is their regeneration ability. And as I said earlier, this results in an entirely new doctor except that he retains his memories. Now normally, a Time Lord can only regenerate 12 times, giving them 13 lives. But most recently, the Doctor has been granted a new cycle, so 12 more regenerations. But we'll get to that later. Lastly, the biggest question that most people have is why is it called Doctor Who? Well, that's really simple. He goes by the name The Doctor, and when other people hear that name, they go, Doctor Who. It's pretty much a running gag that's been around for about 50 years now. No one knows his actual name, and it's been stated in the series that once his name has been said, It'll be like the Harbinger for when the Time Lords can come back. But once again, this is more stuff that we need to cover later in this series, not right now. And that's basically the bare bones information you need to know to understand Doctor Who. Right now, Peter Capaldi is the Doctor and Clara is his companion. So let's move right over to our first video, The First Doctor. And if you enjoy Doctor Who, let me know in the comments down below and let me know any parts that you want further explained. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button as TV shows are now a normal part of this channel. And I hope you're as excited about that as I am.